make sure you leave yourself enough room for Hermione to stand on the page. About that much. So I'm going to start with the head up the top. I'm going to start with the sides of the face in an oval that becomes out for the cheeks. It's a bit tricky doing it straight with pen. But with practice, you can get it right. But I think if you're at home, maybe just do it with a pencil. I'm just doing it with pen because it's easier to see on camera. So then you want to bring two pieces for the neck down, and then a semicircle for where the tie is going to go. Two diagonal lines straight down to form the collar, and then two diagonal lines inwards from those bits to form the top of the tie. And then two more diagonal lines straight down, and that gives us the tie. Okay, and then come back up to here, and you want to bring your collar out on both sides of the neck. And then making a slightly curved triangle that meets up with the collar. And then just fill those bits in. Okay. Now you want to go back up to the hair to get some of her very wild hair in. So I'm just putting some squiggly lines in at the edges there. It's going to be some hair that comes down in front of her cloak. And then her shoulders are going to go from there. And now come down. And straight down. Now she's looking quite solid right now, but I think we'll be able to fix it when we get some hair in. So just putting some triangular pieces of hair for the fringe. And then from where it is there, now this can be however wild you want to make it. It is supposed to have very wild hair. So I'm just doing lots of curly zigzaggy bits. Just adding in some spaghetti-ish bits everywhere so that we know it is wild. Then we want to put in her facial features. So let's start with the eyes. I want to do actually let's go let's try and map it out properly. So if that's the top of the head there, that's close to my chin, halfway would be roughly where her eyes are gonna go. So I'm gonna do two half moons like that. And then I want to do two on top of that for her eyelids. And then from the bottom ones, flicking out a few eyelashes on the edges. And then putting in her eyes, which are a complete circle in the center. And then another half circle in the center for her pupils, like that. And then you want to come back down probably halfway between those bits, between the eye and the chin. I'm going to give a little nose and then a mouth underneath that which is going to go up slightly at one side because it's Hermione and then put 
put in her little quirky smile and maybe a little bit on the other side. And if you can fit it in, you can give her some top lips. <laughs> Eyebrows up above. There we go. That's her face going on. And because I made a thicker line around here, I think I'm going to thicken up some of the other lines. And that might help with balancing it out. Just use a thicker pen and probably be smarter. But we shan't. We shall keep going forward. Tea break. Oh, that's good. Um, and chocolate break. I am having a little bit of a licorice treat. Chocolate licorice bullets. Delicious. Okay. So from there I'm just bringing the cloak down. Which comes two straight lines down the side. And now she's going to be holding a book, so I'm going to go straight across where a book and bring it in just slightly at the edges. Uh, okay, so now I'm going up to fill in where the rest of her cloak is going. Just about there, so just two lines to form where her arms are. Okay, let's continue those arms down. All I'm doing is basically guessing where I think the arms would start to bend. Luckily with these cloaks, you can kind of, it kind of gives you a little bit of room to play with. So I'm going basically halfway, like a half, as in halfway into her body. And then down where I think the elbow is. And this is going to be the top of her arm. That's some of the fabric curling back and folding in for where her elbow is and then continuing up for the cloak. So that gives us the side of her cloak and a straight line down to meet it. And then I'm just going to put the tip of her arm showing and then the rest of her cloak behind. See what I'm getting at there? Now I'm going to do the other side, which comes down. And this time I'm going to put her arm on the top first. So it's going to go like that. This is the top of her arm and her hand. So it's got a thumb that sticks up like that finger which is just a straight line and then some other fingers curled around the edge of her book so just like that and then we can put the top of her cloak here and drop it down and lift it back up And then filling in where I think the folds might go. Just quickly a few more on this one. And then her elbow which comes out and then down into the cloak. Like so. got like a double fold here. I didn't mean to do that. I probably should have just had this one here. But it doesn't matter because you can always make it work. It's just another 
fold in the fabric. That's all. Okay, so now we can come down for the rest of the cloak. So I'm going to bring a straight line on both sides. Like that. Um, and now I'm guessing in where the book should go. Like that. So that's just finishing the box off. Mm, sorry if you can hear me slurping away on my tea. Lovely. Okay, now I'm bringing down the cloak this side. And it's just coming straight down, slightly out to the left. And this one, straight down and slightly out to the left. And when you get to the bottom, you can do some folds, which is just bringing it straight across and up in a line. Then I'm guessing where her skirt would go, which I think would be about, like this is probably where her hips are, and she's got thighs, knees, shins. So this is where about the knees. So let's chuck in the skirt about here. She zigzags because it's a pleated skirt and lines, like so. And now we're going to put in her legs. Slightly curved lines that go straight, straight down to here. And the one on the other side too. So in a little bit, slightly out, and then straight down. There are two legs. And then we're going to do some feet, which are curved at the top. And come down and curved at the bottom. And then meet them back to the base. We'll do that on both sides. Curved at the bottom, down at the top and in. And then I'm just going to put the base of the shoe on which comes out like a, an additional ring on the shoes. And then there's going to be straps over the top two curved lines near the ankle and they can just meet around the ankle and then at the top they're kind of curved almost like a circle meets the rest of that and there's her funny little shoes and that is basically my version of Hermione. I'm just going to add in her collars, stripes, and then I'm sure once she's coloured, she will look more like it. <laughs> um, all right, if you want to give this a go, then go for it. I hope it works out for you. Definitely a little tricky, so try not to get upset if it's not working the way you want it to work. Um, mine is by no means perfect, so just keep trying and keep playing around until you get your version of Hermione working just right for you. Okay, I'm going to colour it in. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. It would really help me out. Then I know that people are watching and they're interested in learning more about drawing. Um, and if you like the video, please share it and like it. That would be marvellous. Okay. Thank you. See you next time.